That's right, Tommy and Margo. This has been in the making for more than a year now. City officials say that this helps them get better control of how marijuana is regulated within city limits. However, critics say that while it's a good effort, it's dangerous and costly to growers. City council members say it could be the last reading before a plan is put into motion. Merced City has done something to where we're creating an ordinance to make sure that the city maintains local control, that we have the authority to, you know, kind of run it the way we want to run it. On Monday night, city council member Joshua Pedrozo says the public will have a chance to comment on the marijuana regulations before the council is set to read the final draft. City officials have worked on drafting the ordinance for more than a year. The plan would allow four dispensaries, with one being for medical purposes. Pedroso says the ordinance allows the city to set the guidelines and says they'll ultimately reap the benefits. If we can control it locally, then we have that ability to add to our tax roll um, with, uh, with the way that we can tax it. And I think that'll be beneficial to our city. As for individuals, they will be allowed to grow six plants indoors for their personal use. And why would you want to grow indoors? Would you put any other thing Doors, would you say? However, not everyone agrees with the changes. As the owner of Strawberry Alarm Clock, Lex Bufford has worked for years selling smoking accessories. He says growing inside isn't just dangerous, but costly for many. Indoor grows uh, have to have a wiring, electricity. They use high pressure sodium lights. It's expensive. Pedrozo says they're not out of the woods yet. He says the planning commission asked to have cannabis businesses about 1,000 feet away from a school or daycare. Council members are hoping to keep it at 600 feet. That's going to reduce the, the spots uh, by by 10 percent. So we're looking at, you know, what we're going to do for that type of stuff. If finalized, the council will have their second and final reading in December. Now, once that second reading is passed, the regulations will go into effect about 30 days later, which is around the same time Prop 64 goes into effect on January 1st. Live in Merced, I'm Natalie Granda, ABC 30 Action News.